One of the big stories at home today is avian flu spreading to more and more parts of the country. Now a major Quebec duck farm is the latest poultry producer to be hit hard by the H5N1 strain. It will have to kill tens of thousands of birds and lay off hundreds of employees. In Manitoba, now confirmed cases as well of the strain in wild birds. John Northcott is on the story with more on the spread and the threat it is posing. Good morning, John. Good morning, Heather. Let's begin in Quebec with Brome Lake ducks, where 150,000 ducks will have to be euthanized. Uh, this is the layoff of over 300 employees. Brome Lake is one of the larger providers of ducks in this country, the preeminent provider of Peking duck, in fact. So a huge operation, a number of outlets, and this a forced call that they're having to do to try to control H5N1, this avian flu. Uh, obviously, a huge blow to the company. Let's listen. It is extremely, extremely difficult to have to go and announce to your employees. We have over 300 employees that I had to announce that they were losing their jobs temporarily. It's extremely difficult. They expect it'll take six to 12 months to uh, restock their farms uh, and this uh, having to get uh, new poultry from Europe where they have their own challenges uh, with the avian flu. Ontario now, a couple more cases there, now up to 16 outbreaks there. And we're watching the situation in Manitoba very closely where there have been incidences found in wild geese and in a bald eagle. The wild geese found dead, the bald eagle having to be euthanized after showing extreme signs. This is is a highly contagious, virulent version of the H1N1 avian flu because of its the fact that it is contagious means that it can spread faster. Uh, and this is the situation that's being watched now in seven provinces uh, with the uh, growth and continued spread of this illness, largely coming from wild birds uh, into the domestic flocks, but still a situation being watched very carefully, particularly by those in the poultry industry. Of course, this could have a huge effect on their viability of their flocks and the eventual price of poultry on the shelves. John, this strain, as you mentioned, highly pathogenic, H5N1, and Quebec farmers, for example, have never faced it. They've been watching for it, have never faced it. Is there any explanation why they're seeing it now? A couple of reasons. One, this is migration season, moving from those wild animals, uh, and in particular, officials warning smaller producers where often the flocks are allowed to move out to a natural pond, etc., keep them indoors mm -hmm. during this migration season. But another important aspect of this is climate change. The climate is changing, migration patterns are changing, and now we're seeing the result in the ability for this virus to spread. Let's listen to a veterinarian. These viruses that are coming in right now are coming from an interaction between uh, viruses that are in different species of birds that didn't used to meet. But now with climate change, their ecosystems are colliding. Now, one thing we should point out here, there is no uh, danger to humans, the H1N1 potentially getting in and affecting the quality uh, or the health that you might experience from eating uh, any of this poultry. Uh, as of yet in North America, there has been no spread from uh, either wild animals or domestic flocks to humans. Uh, however, in Asia, there have been cases of this and officials in this country are warning anyone if you were to come across some dead birds uh, or a bird that has died, uh, for example, even in a farmyard uh, for some inexplicable reason, be very careful. Wear eye protection, hand protection, uh, don't touch any of those dead poultry uh, with your bare hands and place the animal in a plastic bag and alert federal authorities, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency, a good place to start. Heather? John, thank you.